What's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to make Skyline Cincinnati Chili. It's awesome, it's got a unique flavor. So let's get started. All right, first thing, we're gonna put two pounds of ground beef in a big electric skillet. We're gonna give it a little chop. We're also gonna add one finely minced onion. We're gonna brown this until the hamburger is brown and our onions are translucent. Okay, now we have our hamburger browned and the onions are all translucent. If you have a lot of grease, you can drain it off. I don't have much, so I'm not gonna drain anything. Next, we add our four cups of beef broth and we bring it to a simmer and we let it simmer for 10 minutes. All right, that's been simmering for about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna add in all of the ingredients. Here's some wet ingredients. This is uh, minced garlic and some apple cider vinegar and some Worcestershire. Next, there is a crazy mix of spices that makes Skyline Chili unique and gives it its crazy flavor. All the ingredients are in the description, but some of the interesting ingredients, we have a bunch of cocoa in this, cinnamon, cumin, uh, chili powder, um, what else? Allspice, cloves. So anyway, you're gonna enjoy the smell of this, and um, it's immediately I can smell that cocoa and the allspice. I've made this once before, and I've had actual Skyline Chili in Columbus, Ohio, and it was really, really spot on, as far as I remember anyway, so. Now we're gonna let this simmer for close to an hour. Oh, almost forgot. We need uh, some tomato sauce, two cans of eight ounces, so 16 ounces total. Almost forgot. Turn that down a little bit, Just give it a nice stir. All right, we're almost to an hour of simmering. And as time goes on, this gets thicker and thicker. That water is boiling off, so the flavors get more and more concentrated. And it is a really good mixture of cocoa, cinnamon, um, you have to smell it to understand. This is a very, very unique, and do a little Googling, you'll see how popular this is. So just a little bit, we'll be plating this up on some noodles, and uh, we're gonna give it a try. All right, now we're going to put together our Skyline Chili. Um, popular ways to eat this on spaghetti. You can also eat it on hot dogs, so we're gonna do that much. Several different ways you can eat this. You can put kidney beans, onions, cheese. We're gonna not put any kidney beans on, but we are obviously gonna put a big scoop of our Skyline Chili. God, this smells so good. Next, we're gonna put some raw onions on. Next, we're gonna put on a ton of cheddar cheese. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna give it a taste test. All right, I am so excited. This is the second time I've made this at home and I've only had the real thing one, <clears throat> one other time, but you won't forget the smell. This is a copycat recipe, so it's about as close as you can get without getting the real thing. Ooh, mm. that cheese and all those flavors and that crazy spice mix. You know, I can tell why it's so popular. You know, it's 
it's like nothing else. It's not chili. I mean, it's not like putting chili on spaghetti. It's just got a very, very unique flavor. Like I said, the cocoa and the allspice. I mean, it's, it's super good. So anyway, give this a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you could, please subscribe and give me a like. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.